I'm hurry, not worry. Well, that's all there is. You have to eat it. Open up, Mary Jane. <laughs> you come in and have some breakfast. Hey, look who's here. How's Mary Jane? She's fine. Her cast comes off next week. Don't you brush your hair anymore. Oh, stop picking on her, Laura. She just got here. Here you are, honey. Thank you, oh, Daddy. Girl. You want some sweet rolls? No, no. Mm, delicious. Sure? Mm -hmm. All right. So how's that maid working out? She keeping things up for you over there? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Daddy. Maybe you can find someone to go over there in the morning and brush her hair, Tom. She looks like a rag picker. Come on, come on, come on, little girl. Oh, Daddy. Oh, tell Daddy what's wrong. I'm hmm? so tired. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's really hard with Mary Jane. I wish I were a little girl again. No, don't you worry, baby. Don't Somebody has a bad day now and then. Why, your mother used to do everything except ride around the broom with you. And you're okay. I'm not okay. Sure you are. Now, what you need, what you need is a vacation. Why? How about a little trip down through the Florida Keys, just like in the old days, you and your old daddy, just the two of us? How's that sound? Daddy, I'm scared. Someone from the hospital must have called the county because they sent a social worker to check up on me. What? This man checked in Mary Jane's room and everything, you know? I mean, like I had done something wrong. He was really nice, but I could tell what was on his mind. Don't you worry, Rowena. I'll handle this. Daddy, I want someone to talk to. I I I'm confused. I told you, Rowena. Don't worry, I'll handle it. Get me Orrin Helgerson, Thomas J. Atherton speaking. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I will trade you, Roger Maris, for Ronce. No way, you want to say you've got to give me Maris and Mandel. You must think I'm dumb or something. Look, Doc, no offense, but you're all hung up on these old guys. I mean, they were great, but they were then. The actors now, you know what I mean? Dr. Bacheri? I don't know what you mean, little gangster. Sit down. You were ordered to drop the Rowena Harper matter. You disobeyed that order. As a result, Mrs. Harper's father, Thomas J. Atherton, who is a trustee of this hospital, is threatening to sue us. Well, Thomas J. Atherton can go jump in the lake. He can't sue. Because the law in every state in this country says that if a doctor suspects... 
abuse, he must report it. As a matter of fact, I could be sued for malpractice if I didn't report it, and so could you, and you know it. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Doctor, but I'm going to recommend to the board that since you have not lived up to the terms of your contract, it be terminated in the spring. You're going to can me because of this? Because of your general attitude. You're hostile, abrasive, and uncooperative. We're like a family here, Bucheri. To work well, we have to feel comfortable with each other. Yeah. Well, you can take the kid out of the ghetto, but you can't take the ghetto out of the kid. I never should have come uptown. Why did you apply here? Why did you accept me? As I recall, it was because you were at the head of your class. Yeah, well, I guess we were both disappointed. I came because I heard they practice good medicine here. Toilet paper. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll see you then. And don't forget the toilet paper. You know, I can handle everything about the new way of things between men and women except grocery shopping. Now, that should be woman's work. Ooh, good luck, Charlie. Where are you going? I'll follow up on the Harper case. Isn't that the one where you didn't find anything conclusive? Yeah, but I think with a bit more time. Time we don't have. We've had a really heavy intake today, and Miss Goldman's out with the flu. Oh, don't tell me that. You got it, Dave. You're going to have to make all her calls for the rest of the week. Mrs. Ramis, my case load this month is 48 people. Then close the file on Harper. That makes it 47. I want you to start work on this one right away. The family's name is Mullen, Eagle Park area. The child is four years old, severely burned, just admitted to the hospital. Bill? Hi. What are you doing? Well, I thought I heard a prowler outside. 
outside, and I got scared. Could you come over? <sighs> no, I'm not drunk. I'm lonely. Could you come home? <sighs> of course, I don't have a guy here. Why do you always think that... I should have sent you that company. Gave me your address. Hi, I'm Judy. Welcome to Parents Anonymous. Dave Williams is a good man. I'm glad you could come. What's your first name? Rowena. Excuse me, Joy. Everyone, this is Rowena. Rowena, this is Hi, Billy Ray, Sam, Joy, and Margo. Like I was saying, um, thing is that I just jabbed Tommy with my nails to correct him. You know, if he's messing up with something. I was in the kitchen. <laughs> I was always in the kitchen. <gasps> I just, you know, I, I jab him, you know, like, hey, watch it, you know? I didn't mean nothing by it. At least I didn't think I did. <sighs> Until, uh... One day, he made a mess on the floor. I spent the whole day cleaning. And... <gasps> this time, I had a beer can opener in my hand. <gasps> I didn't mean to hurt him. I didn't know how, how badly I cut him until he started bleeding. Oh, 
most important joy is you found out that you weren't the only one. 